Hello students today we will start our first poem from fairy book the name of the poem is we are seven this poem is written by william wordsworth first of all i will tell you about the poet the poet william wordsworth is a great poet from england he was mostly inspired by nature he had won many awards he also got honorary degree of doctor by durham university and oxford university this poem is a ballad first of all you must know what is ballad ballad is a poem that is arranged in quatrains means every stanza is having four lines and its rhyme scheme is a b a b and ballad actually tells a story means after reading this poem you will get a story so let's begin our poem come to first stanza a simple child that lightly draws its breath and feels its life in every limb what should it know of death the speaker begins this poem by asking what a child who is full of life and energy could know about a death means when the child is free of all the worries and tension the child is full of life he will not be knowing anything about death i met a little cottage girl she was 8 years old she said her hair was thick with many a curl that cluster round her head the speaker then met a little cottage girl who was 8 years old and she had thick curly hair which was growing close to her head she had a rustic woodland air and she was widely clad her eyes were fair and very fair her beauty made me glad that girl poet tells about that girl she was typical from the countryside she was living in the forest she was wildly dressed her eyes were fair and she was looking very beautiful and the poet was impressed by that girl and the speaker you can say he was happy to see the beauty of the girl sisters and brother little maid how many may you be how many seven in all she said and wondering looked at me the speaker asked that little girl how many siblings she has and then the girl here it is said little maid that girl replies that they are seven in all and then the she girl was wonder she wondered at the speaker how why he is asking how many they are and where are they i pray you tell she answered seven are we and two of us at conway dwell and two are gone to see now the poet then again asked the child that girl where her brothers and sisters are she replies seven are we means they are total seven and tells that speaker that two are in town and the name of the town is conway and two are at sea two children two siblings are at sea and two lie in the churchyard 
two of us in the churchyard lie my sister and my brother and in the churchyard cottage i dwell near them with my mother when the poet asks then she says to are at the conway two are gone to see and two of them are in the churchyard they lie in the churchyard her sister and her brother is in the churchyard cottage and that girls live that girl lives with her mother nearby that churchyard she lives in a cottage that is near to churchyard you say that two at convey dwell and two are gone to see yet you are seven i pray you tell sweet maid how this may be then speaker tries to explain that girl if two are two children two sibling are at convey if they live in convey they two are gone to see means two are in the sea and to you say that you are seven i pray he request that girl sweet girl how this may be he wants to explain that girl if to lie in the churchyard and to stay at convey to on the sea and how she they can be seven if to were dead then did the little maid reply seven boys and girls are we two of us in the churchyard lie beneath the churchyard tree girl again explains to that speaker that the little we are only seven boys and girls two of us they lie in the churchyard beneath the they are below the churchyard tree you run about my little maid your limbs they are alive if two are in the churchyard laid then you are only five speaker again tries to explain that you are little girl your limbs are alive you are alive and two are in the churchyard you are only five their graves are green they may be seen the little maid replies 12 steps or more from my mother's door and they are side by side the little girl tells to speaker she tries to explain that these their graves are green you can see they may be seen they green graves you can see and 12 step it is not far away from her mother's door it is only 12 steps from her mother's door means from that cottage and their graves are lying side by side my stockings there i often knit my handkerchief there i hem and there upon the ground i sit and sing a song to them the little girl tries to explain the speaker she often goes to knit her stockings she hems her handkerchief she sits near the grave on the ground and she sings a song for her brother and sister who are in the churchyard and often after sunset sir when it is light and fair i take my little porringer and eat my supper there she explains that she after sunset she goes there she takes her bowl and she takes supper in that something eatable in that bowl she eats there near the graves the first that died was sister jane in bed she moaning lay till god released her of her pain and then she went away the girl tries to explain the speaker the first the her sister jane died she was sick she was lying in the bed 
and afterwards god had released her of her pain mean she passed away and then she went away mean she was released of her pain and she was dead so in the churchyard she was laid and when the grass was dry together round her grave we played my brother john and i so the girl was buried in the churchyard her grave was made in the churchyard and when the season was changed after few months her brother used to play she and her brother john they both used to play near that grave in the churchyard when the ground was white with snow and i could run and slide my brother john was forced to go and he lies by her side when the ground was white with snow during winter season she used to play and slide in the snow her brother john was forced to go her brother also died and he lies next to her sister jane he was also buried in the same near by the same grave of sister jane both the graves were nearby they were in the churchyard the both the graves were side by side in the churchyard how many are you then said i if they two were in heaven quick was the little maid's reply oh master we are seven the man again asked how many siblings she has if two are dead she replies quickly oh master we are seven but they are dead those two were dead their spirits are in heaven it was throwing words away for still the little maid would have her will and said nay we are seven the man tries to convince girl, the little girl he says they are dead and their spirits of the two siblings are in the heaven and he realized that his words were wasted whatever he was trying to explain that girl she was not willing to listen and understand the little girl firmly said that they are seven in all and this poem ends with a little word little girl saying she says nay we are seven means this little girl is not ready to listen that they are only five she feels that they are seven so after reading this poem it is very clear that the death has not really divided jane and john from this little girl she feels their presence and she is unaware of death i think you all must have got this poem thank you